Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Joby submits Stage 3 certification plans to FAA, Merlin successfully completes Alaska flight trials, and NASA plans celebrations of Webb Space Telescope's first year. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Joby submits Stage 3 certification plans to FAA. Joby Aviation, builder of eVTOL aircraft, announced that it had submitted the entirety of its certification plan to the FAA, thereby occasioning the imminent completion of the third of the five stages upon which FAA certification of new aircraft types is predicated. Dubbed Compliance Planning, the third stage of the FAA's type certification protocol calls for the OEM of the aircraft for which certification is sought to specify the tests, analyses, and reports by which it intends to demonstrate its design's compliance with applicable regulations as defined in Requirement Definition, the antecedent certification stage. In February 2023, Joby became the first eVTOL maker to complete the Requirements Definition stage of the FAA certification process. Previously, and somewhat predictably, the company in December 2022 earned the distinction of being the first eVTOL concern to complete Stage 1, conceptual design of the FAA's approbation convention and have its certification basis published in the U.S. Federal Register. Joby's Stage 3 submittals include some one dozen area-specific certification plans germane to both the hardware and software facets of its input eVTOL, to include the machine's flight controls, energy storage and distribution architecture, and propulsion system. In addition to submitting the whole of its ASCPs, Joby has provided the FAA detailed plans for its eVTOL cybersecurity and system safety schemes. And after the break, Pulsar Fusion to build nuclear fusion rocket engine. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Pulsar Fusion to build nuclear fusion rocket engine. UK aerospace concern Pulsar Fusion has undertaken construction of the largest practical nuclear fusion rocket engine yet built. When fired in 2027, presuming the company's development timetable proves accurate, the engine's 8-meter fusion chamber will generate exhaust speeds in excess of 500,000 miles per hour and temporarily supersede the sun as the hottest place in the solar system. Researchers at Pulsar Fusion seek to see the fusion engine's core reach several hundred million degrees at the instant the final plasma shot is fired in the chamber. Archer hosts Federal AAM Interagency Working Group Archer Aviation, the California-based designer of eVTOL aircraft, hosted the Federal Advanced Air Mobility Interagency Working Group at its Salinas, California flight test installation. The delegation of federal bureaucrats featured upwards of 70 representatives of the Department of Transportation, the White House, the FAA, NASA, the Federal Communication Commission, the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, and other federal agencies. Student Group Makes Inaugural Spaceport Nova Scotia Launch the Arbalest rocketry team of Ontario, Canada's York University executed a suborbital launch at a Canso, Nova Scotia facility currently being constructed by Maritime Launch Services, Inc. Upon its completion, the installation will function as Canada's first commercial spaceport. 
Originally planned for July 5th, the launch was to have been conducted before an august assemblage of invitees, which included local, provincial, and Canadian federal officials, as well as Indigenous leaders and students from the Nova Scotia region. Regrettably, poor weather forced the postponement of the launch attempt until July 6th. She will camcopter S-100 to surveil French coast. The European Maritime Safety Agency has entered into an agreement with Schiebel, the Austrian manufacturer of mine detectors and rotary wing unmanned aerial systems, by which the latter's camcopter S-100 UAS will conduct emission monitoring and maritime surveillance operations in northern France. Subject missions will be carried out on behalf of the General Directorate of Maritime Affairs, Fishery and Aquaculture. Well, that's it for our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Maryland successfully completes Alaska flight trials. Previously, the FAA awarded Merlin a $1 million contract for purpose of demonstrating the capabilities of its autonomous flight architecture, dubbed Merlin Pilot, under the auspices of onboard safety pilots. Subject flight testing was to be conducted in cooperation with Everts Air Cargo along three test routes, the entirety of which originate from the Alaska Center for Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration, the University of Alaska Fairbanks' FAA-designated UAS test site. Boston-based Merlin Labs is an aviation technology concern endeavoring to perfect and deliver at scale a system by which conventional aircraft may be flown autonomously by arrays of sensors working in concert with powerful computers, AI algorithms, and electromechanical actuation hardware. Comes now July 2023 and an announcement from Merlin setting forth the company has successfully completed 25 test flights of its Merlin pilot system, reaching Fort Yukon, Galena, Huslia, Tanana, and Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. The flights total over 60 hours of systems on autonomous operations carried out by Merlin Pilot in a real-world environment featuring complex terrain and inclement weather. Data recorded over the test flight campaign will be applied to the further maturation of Merlin Pilot's in-flight capabilities. By dint of the Alaskan flight test, Merlin Pilot earned the distinction of being the first autonomous system integrated into the U.S. NAS. Coming up after these messages, NASA plans celebrations of Webb Space Telescope's first year. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. NASA plans celebrations of Webb Space Telescope's first year. NASA is making ready to commemorate the James Webb Space Telescope's first year of operations and celebrate the discoveries deriving thereof. The largest device of its kind yet conceived of and deployed by humankind, the Webb Space Telescope is equipped with high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments by which it affords Earth-bound astronomers and cosmologists unprecedentedly clear views of objects too old, distant, or faint to be perceived by the venerable Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Telescope facilitates investigations across numerous astronomical and cosmological disciplines and has provided human eyes glimpses of the first stars and galaxies burst to life following the Big Bang and detailed atmospheric characterizations of potentially habitable exoplanets. In observance of the telescope's first year, NASA has planned multiple live and online events across the U.S. The first full-color images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope were released July 12, 2022. The images thrilled scientists and laymen alike and marked the commencement of the observatory's scientific mission. In the months since, Webb has discovered a number of the earliest galaxies ever observed, delivering the most detailed views of the atmospheres of our planets outside our solar system and captured startling views of planets within the solar system. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.